So currently the EMA 200 is around 1500 here. Then EMA 200. Then this is my preferred location stress as well. So total return since my 2019 is 623%. Then last week, no updates. Then these are my old crypto assets currently investment in. Then these are my total investment return for each crypto assets. Then if you are interested, much more detailed information about my preferred locations and also my real time buying and selling signal for every single crypto assets, including ICO, ID or DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, real time buying and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help to reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The full more detail, please check my other video. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then let's start here. ETH. So key is updates. Ethereum deaths tip the merge will occur in August if everything goes to plan. So here's a quotation from an article. That as far as we know, that if everything goes to plan, August, it just makes sense. If we don't have to move the difficulty bar, let's do it as soon as we can. So long waiting translations for proof of stake model on the Ethereum platform looks like the next target on August, right? So it's delayed again, but I think you know, still, this has a pretty big market impact for entire L1 and L2 market. So let's pay close attention to this progress here, okay? Then is USDT weekly chart here. So this is kind of key support line at this moment. The price line will be around 1800. But I think Ethereum price will test EMA 200, this yellow line here, and the EMA 200, this blue line here, because RSI still hitting higher than the CSO line here. We need to wait for this lower breakout. Then price hit around here. That's also great additional investment time for the Ethereum. So currently the EMA 200 is around 1500 here. Then EMA 200 around 1100 here. Okay. Next one, so. So, so USDT weekly chart. So about the so, this blue line here will be key supply line, currently around $30. Then I'm kind of pretty confident that they're gonna you know, hit this price line here. Then that timing also great additional investment timing, especially in a case that RSI hit lower than this Swiss line here. So $30 Swiss line RSI could be a great target for us for the additional investment. Okay. Then it's not fail, fire point. So fail USDT weekly chart. This line here, $18 or so used to be key support line. But we already experienced this lower price breakout like in this one. So we're gonna see a little more price question from here. Then RSI gradually go into under the threshold line here. So once we're gonna see pretty strong price questions on the Bitcoin market, the timing for the Farrah coin is also great additional investment timing. Okay. Then it's on Luna. And currently, we need to so closely pay attention to their revival plan, especially May 27th, because this is a you know, network launch with their hard fork project. Okay. Then again, I'm gonna still so closely pay attention to this market developments, decentralized stablecoin project, especially post USD. We only have two major scenario, one and two. Scenario one, we're gonna see. Most UTT value, also the highly scalable and mass adapted crypto assets, we tend to be key currency in the post US dollar era. The currently, Ethereum is the biggest potential. The next one, the number two scenario is decentralized stablecoin project. Runa, with their traction level, used to be number of player here. So, we only have two major scenarios for the decentralized stablecoin markets. Number one, we can gain and buy extremely cheap Luna again. 
Or scenario number two, we're turning a lunar project will burn and grow. Then once we're gonna see number of player on the decentralized stablecoin project again, overwhelming the past traction level of the lunar project, that project, including newly born lunar, will hit 1,000 times the investment opportunity again. That's why I'm gonna so seriously pay attention to their next progress. Then for more detail, please check out my video about my latest analysis about the Luna project. Okay? Then here is you know, additional key news about the Luna project. Reaper Financial Crimes Unit revives to investigate terror crafts. Luna Foundation itself was already dissolved right after this you know, USD crash. But we have to pay attention to whether this investigation itself makes slowing down of the next progress of the Luna Revival Plan or not. Okay. Then let's start. Growth and blockchain OS. So, major advanced activity stats since last Monday. So, no big updates here on the 7 days change. Then let's start. Major growth gas fee, May 22nd, 2022. Solana, number one. Polygon, number two. And Moonbeam, number three. Then let's start. Stake stats, N1 and L2. Ethereum number one, Solana number two, and Cardano number three. And the flow ranked in top 10 this week. Next week, weekly staking. No big move here. Then right of finance still remain number one. It's great tractions. TVL hit over eight billions. It's amazing. Then some DeFi Dex. So trading volume completion between Central Exchange and Dex last week. 12 to 1 this week, 8.4 to 1. So central exchange trading volume is going down because last week they're gonna hit a pretty strong number here because of Bitcoin market crash. That's why. Okay. Then it's on Dex TV updates. Here, top three, no big change here. Top nice Banco hit the plus 31.22% increase. It's amazing. Then it's on Carpool TV updates. Top three, no big change. SDEs, FRAX, and three pool. Okay. Then cross and bleach KPIs updates. Multi chain still remain number one. TVL hits around 3.84 billion. It's great. Then portal still negative stats here, minus 22.10%. It's a big, pretty big loss because of the USD clash. Then that's on DeFi save coin and lending. So lender market updates. Two big player, Aave, Compound, no big change. Then lending market updates, stable coin market, key stats updates. So BUSD, pretty big hits here, plus 150%, including circulation supply increase, plus 1.5%. DAI, no big change here, even after USD clash. Okay. So here's key news updates. What's a key mindset for the hodoro? Most people are thinking about this smooth scenario here, but the actual key mindset for the hodoro, like this way. Then current, you know, entire crypto asset market, like this way or like this way. So the thing's quite simple. You have to be very, very patient. Okay. So here's another key slide about the hodoro. So hodoro is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook, the ones we got to look at the legendary angel investor attraction, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Lee Roman, all the time, they got to take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. Then here's another evidence from the bank structure. This is a Bitcoin case, the longest hold of the Bitcoin also maximum the investment return. In this case, plus 220%, much larger number than other short amount here. So I'm going to also basically take the long-term investment approach. So I'm going to also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay. Alright, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So we're not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain every investment outcome with this video or next video that I made. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and budget space. So I'm gonna make a lot of videos video of crypto and budget space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.